How was I leading during COVID and how was I encouraging and empowering others and myself? It's an interesting question. For the most part, I lead by serving, but I'll get back to that. You see, I have a problem with the word empowering. I know the intention behind the word, but by default, it suggests that the person empowering has either power over another or more power than another. And I believe that we all have power, whether that is realized or not. And my role as a leader is to encourage, support, and provide opportunity for people to realize their own power. I much prefer the Māori concept of tōkana tēna relationships. Older sibling, yum, younger sibling, learning together in a reciprocal relationship. One day I'm the teacher, and the next I learn from you. I think that, especially as women, tōkana tēna relationships are vital. We need to make space and provide opportunities to hear and be heard, to serve and be served, to learn and be taught, and to love and be loved. And all of that is a response to the love which God has lavished on us. In many ways, COVID provided a vehicle for this to happen as people slowed down, as they changed their way of doing things, and as it became, as we became, a team of five million. Phone calls, zooey, conversations and smiles across the street became the norm. And bizarrely, given that we were in lockdown for mo much of last year, relationships were strengthened. But here's where I get back to leading by serving. God has called me to love his people, and that is exactly what we did at Porirua through lockdown. We served others by providing food and essentials to the community. This time, I was acutely aware that we were in a position of power, as we had things that people in our community needed. So I guess we did empower mums, dads, whanau and neighbours to provide for their whanau and for others. We loved people as we had conversations from a distance, gave them food, hope and encouragement. And as we did this for each one of the least of these, we did it for Christ. As we gave out, God gave us so much more in return and he sustained us through it all, pouring out his love upon us as we loved our community in practical and tangible ways. Aroha mai, aroha atu. Love received and love given. The challenge now for each one of us is to continue what God started in us during Aotearoa's <laughs> darkest days of COVID. Hearing and being heard. Serving and being served. Learning and being taught. And loving and being loved freely and without measure. Thank you.